guys, this is Eric from the Auto Venture. I am just driving back from picking up some golf carts here on Sunday, and I'm thinking about uh, 2020 and just some goals that I have and kind of the direction I think the year is going to go. And the first thing that I can think of is um, I think this is going to be the year where um, less is more where um, I've tried to, to grow the businesses and get more people involved and have mechanics and have people help me and have people clean golf carts or have people do different things uh, to, in an attempt to make my life a little more simplified and it hasn't always worked out. Um, more often than not, what I've found is that it almost adds more stress than what I'm trying to accomplish. So I think what my plan is this year is um, I think market-wise uh, it's time to get rid of a couple of our rental houses uh, just equity market-wise. I think it's the right time. Um, this year I'm going to focus the car a lot on uh, the Jeeps that I've been pretty successful with and then more cars that I'm interested in buying and selling. I think doing less cars but nicer cars is going to be the direction rather than kind of the lower end buy here, pay here. Um, I haven't done as many of those, but I think I have more of a captive market for something that's a little bit nicer, you know, maybe slightly um, out of warranty or just before they go out of warranty. I think a lot of my friends and family and people that I know would be shopping in that market that I can work with and you know almost like a realtor they would rather work with me than with anyone else and they'd rather uh, give me the business than you know going to another dealership so I'm fortunate for that but uh, you know I think I'm really going to focus on instead of having you know 25 golf carts and have them kind of all over the place and not quite as organized as what I'd like, you know, have maybe 15 golf carts and have them out all the time and have newer golf carts that are you know, brand new that you don't have to fix or have anything, you know, you're worried about going wrong. Um, and just simplify, you know, I think that I've tried to grow going to change the way that I'm kind of working it. You know, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a full year. I am going to do a full year without anyone else. And when I'm closed, I'm closed. And if I can be there, I can be there. And if I can't, I can't. So it's going to be a, a slightly different approach. Um, again, I think I'm going to just kind of keep it to a handful of Jeeps that I can have rented out, uh, you know, two-thirds of the number of golf carts I had last summer, you know, keep it where I have a routine, you know, every day I go get the golf carts cleaned, you know, maybe have someone whenever I'm out of town or, you know, have a day off or the kids have something that can kind of help me out or cover for me, but, you know, not have someone, you know, full-time, I got the paperwork for the car lot, um, figured out again where I had a little bit of a hiatus from doing that, you know, got that done first time without any issues, um, and was happy about that, but, uh, you know, just kind of keep it low key, you know, I think that I'll have a more successful year and a better lifestyle by surprisingly doing less and I think it'll ultimately be more profitable so I don't know what are your what are your goals for the year you know I'm gonna try I'm looking to do about 150 cars which is really where I should be I think for my car a lot for the size and location um, I think that's you know really doable especially with some Jeeps you know if I can import some Jeeps 
and uh, get those rolling and maybe a couple other vehicles may have a niche to actually export some cars as well um, I'm getting more aggressive with putting it out there about the car lot you know in the last couple years I've let uh, a guy in my office kind of take the reins on doing the you know online advertising and fielding the um, online inquiries from you know the car gurus and the auto trader and things like that so I'm going to continue to do those but uh, make some videos I think of the cars that are for sale and just switch it up a little bit you know everyone sees the same pictures the same you know everything and try to get people's attention by showing you who you're going to be dealing with uh, whenever you come to the car lot or um, you know someone that's going to be truthful with you about what either your car is or what their car is you know if we're selling a car cheap at my car lot I'm I'm going to tell you why it's cheap I mean there's a reason why it's you know $2,500 or a reason why you know a car that should be $12,000 is you know $10,000 I mean it could be anything it could be that it has a bad Carfax or that you know it got hit in the one corner and it was painted or whatever it is and you might be fine with that and a lot of people should be fine with that because what you'll find out if you go to a lot of other car lots and you buy them, especially some of these larger places that you wouldn't even think, you know, the off-lease onlys, uh, a huge majority of those cars are wrecks that they have massive body shops that can fix these cars and that's why they can buy them cheap and sell them cheap. And to your average consumer, they're going to look like brand new. You would never know they were in an accident. Sometimes it's on the Carfax, sometimes it's not. Um, but if you can't see paintwork on a car, you would never know that that car was in an accident. It doesn't affect how the car runs or drives or you know anything. And more than likely, at some point during your ownership of the vehicle, it's going to have a, a minor fender bender or something that you know may ruin the Carfax for someone else. And you've already maybe or hopefully taken that depreciation on your purchase. So I wouldn't shy away from buying a vehicle that has had some kind of paint work you know you don't want something s super serious but um you know your average bump you know no one no one is going to care so i think i'm getting a little off subject here but um anyway the the goal to uh for 2020 is going to be uh less is more you know just kind of focus on what I've been good at in the past and kind of continue to stay focused on that not try to branch off into 10 different things to be mediocre or decent at a lot of them you know really drill down to you know focus on just you know bringing the jeeps back and getting those ready and selling those you know hopefully retailing more of those and wholesaling them um, you know be the broker for a lot of people where they're looking for a specific car and you find it. I think another avenue is to be the broker for buying cars where you let me know what you're looking for or send me over the specifics of you know the vehicles that you're kind of searching for and I can find it for you. I have the ability to purchase from around the country and find you exactly the car that you that you want and you're you know, working with someone that you know and trust and, um, you know, one, one to work with. So, um, that's the plan for this year. Hope you all have a great start to 2020 and, uh, that's my plan for it. So have a great weekend and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.